these two anomalies are going to blow your mind. We're looking at rock ship type anomalies are found east of Asimov. The rock ship of Masuda is found in the Osaka region of Japan, also known as the place of flying birds. The object is about 11 meters long, 8 meters wide and 4.7 meters high and weighs approximately a thousand tons. We'll be analyzing this high-rise photograph taken on the 1st of June 2007 at 25.2 centimeters per pixel resolution. I cropped the images from the JP2 black and white map projected file just over 900 megabytes in size. Here's a look at the low res black and white. This site is located at roughly 48 degrees south, 14 degrees 26 minutes east. So the anomaly we're looking at is right there folks. Let's take a closer look and zoom in on the object. Check out the sort of crescent shaped disc in the front and it's got these two sort of rectangular part sticking up at an odd angle this darker rectangular part in the center and then it slopes down at the back and this measures about 5.5 meters long by about 4 meters wide and I compare it to the rock ship of Masuda it also has the scoop or disc shaped part in the front, the three rectangular parts running across the center and then it slopes down on the one side. The next anomaly right there guys and girls, this is a weird one as well, consisting of these strange sort of flattened cylinder type parts and it's got a disc there in its center. I don't know what's going on over here guys. This is really strange and then the sort of rhombus part at the back pointing up at a slight angle almost like a scoop and that piece there measures about nine meters long and approximately four meters wide. And these two objects are in the same photograph, a couple of hundred meters apart. There's the illustration I put together in Adobe Dimension. This is what I speculate we might be looking at. So the astronauts in the illustration are about two meters tall. This gives an idea of just how weird these objects are. So check this out, we've got the disc-like part in the front, the three rectangular parts running through the center. It's also got this partial disc shape here on the one side, and then it tapers off at an angle at the back. So could this be some type of monument, statue, depiction, or is this some type of ancient technology, maybe a craft or a structure. It also seems to have a rectangular opening on the right hand side over there, like a vent. Then we're looking at this strange cylindrical part. Check this out with the dish on the center there and then this Sort of rhombic shape rectangular part at the back almost like a scoop or a vent. Are we looking at another potential craft or an outpost? Could this be a dish used for communication? Obviously we're looking at objects that are partially covered in sand. I wonder what these look like if we can excavate around them. 
also due to the lack of height in the top-down orbiter photographs it's difficult for me to tell how tall these objects are so as I say I'm speculating here folks this is what I think we might be looking at right let's zoom down to that region just east of Asimov and uh, the photograph we analyzed is right there folks possible MSL rover landing site and there's a brief look at the anomalies once again let's have a look at the other objects I've found in that photograph strange obelisk shaped anomaly a weird wet shaped part next to it it's another disc this disc is about 10 meters in diameter and that triangular part about 9 meters in length another partial disc sticking out there and then this quarter disc shaped up anomaly I found uh, in various places on Mars as well check out the layered rectangular parts over here and then a strange oblong piece there on the top it also looks like there might be a hole in this piece so we're looking at some type of outpost or ancient structure there folks another strange part similar part as well this rectangular dark part on the right hand side this looks almost like a window could that be part of a craft or a vehicle various odds and ends this is also a rather weird piece it's also got a rectangular shape to it smooth flat sides and then this hollowed out part yeah on the front that'd be some type of wreckage another wedge shaped part there this we've seen or a similar shape to this we've seen in perseverance photographs as well another perfect block lots of blocks in this area of Mars weird pieces on top of that block could these be fossilized ancient life forms possible bones who knows another one of these partial or quarter disc shaped anomalies check out the uniform width to it as well rather odd piece very symmetrical and then that smaller part in the center now the slab or block folks check out the uniform thickness to it as well this triangular depiction we've seen all over Mars as well I speculate that might be a depiction of the Sumer triangle asterism these dark spots seem to be arranged in a pattern as well and that we've seen all over Mars too this type of depiction of a T-shape is also abundant on Mars
check out more of these dark spots arranged in rows this one parallel to the edge of that side is another sort of t-shaped depiction there on that side he has uh, four of those partial or quarter disc shaped anomalies tightly packed together and this one also has a small protrusion or knob on it strange conical feature you have with that triangle part on the top again rows of objects mostly three objects in a row there we see it as well as well as over there check out that strange wishbone shaped anomaly there I found another one and I did an illustration of that quite a while ago another dome shaped anomaly this looks almost like a shell however it's about eight meters wide so it's huge folks are we looking at ancient structures and wreckage and craft here some type of vehicles or technology let me know what you think of these in the comments below much appreciated that concludes this presentation thank you for watching i appreciate each and every one of you take care everybody i'll see you in the next one very soon cheers for now